Hey guys, this is sort of a fun review here. I was hanging out at Electric Bike Technologies with Jason, sure. and uh, you know we were, we were talking about bikes and these trikes and stuff that they make. They're a little bit bigger and heavier, and he was like, oh man, I gotta show you this rack. This thing is awesome. I got a friend who makes these things. They're just starting out. The company's called Upright Designs, and this is the totem pole, and you know, I guess you can kind of see that. It's this long beam rack thing, but it's it's vertical instead of horizontal. You don't have to worry about whether your bike is a step through and putting cross members and things on it. Um, it only fits two inch wide hitch racks for now. This is all steel. We were weighing it a minute ago. It's 47 pounds, not too bad. And it fits up to six bikes is what he was saying. So you can see there's you know, three loops on this side, three loops on that side, and the bikes go like this. So they kind of, you know, they would, if, if that was the rear windshield of your car, you'd have bikes kind of, you know, pointing each other in the middle and hanging down like that. They, they have a couple cool accessories as well, one of which is sort of a six inch extender at the bottom. It raises this, because there are a lot of minivans and things where the hitch is pretty low, and you know, you don't want your tires dragging. <laughs> you know, you don't want to go over a big bump or something. and 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 hit the end of the rack. They've also got another $80 accessory that turns this into a bike rack for your garage. So, you know, that part of the time it's on your car and you're hauling bikes around, the rest of the time it's keeping your garage organized. I just thought this is super brilliant. And uh, down here is a couple of the bungees and stuff. We're gonna put these on later and, you know, show how those work. But essentially it keeps the bikes together, keeps them from swinging around. And they all hang on this top bar, which has a nice, rubber coating. So this is 399 bucks, not too bad in the world where you can spend $600 on, on some of these, these racks that are real fancy and fold up. And um, I do like the tray racks personally. I've tried a couple of them, but uh, this was intriguing to me. You can carry, I think he was saying, you know, 200 pounds um, worth of bikes on this. That's, that's yeah. a lot. In a world where electric bikes tend to be especially heavy and, and trikes and stuff, you, it may not be about the number of electric bikes is the fact that you can carry several at once in a way that's um that's pretty pretty well organized so yeah. jason can you tell i mean you own one of these right yeah i own one of these and uh these guys came to me a couple of years ago uh talking about distribution and what do you think of the design and this and that and they came to our warehouse um one of the guys on the team is an old friend of mine from high school actually oh cool and so he showed me this and i said you know what this is really great not only for because electric bikes are heavier but we've got tricycles and you know, you can put six conventional bikes yeah. here, 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 you know, we'll show you on the car in a little bit, but also you can put tricycles on this. Yeah. So for us, there are a lot of racks that will support a full upright tricycle or a recumbent tricycle. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned the extender, which will take it up a couple of inches, six inches. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a longer bike, like some of these recumbent deltas, uh, you'll be able to see that we can hang them on here. And he was saying, you know, I was just talking to this guy on the phone, right? Getting the story and he's like, yeah, you can put kids' bikes on there. You can put tandem bikes on there with that extender, and you can. I mean, it's it's a really versatile versatile thing that you can see. This piece down here sort of slides up a little bit. Um, maybe we should just jump into it and get this thing on the car. Absolutely, let's put it on the car. I will say that I've driven with it with a, a bunch of different bikes, mm -hmm. and it's super secure too, especially with the bungees and these uh, secure straps down here that they've added. This is their latest model, and it's really cool. And, and not only that, but you'll see when we put it on the car, it actually folds down, so you can open that back window on your SUV. Oh, I was wondering about that. Yeah, yes, that's the, the key. the whole thing folds down so that you don't have to take it on and off and you need to open your trunk or your hatch, Yeah, which is really great. Thanks for the tip, man. Sure. Well, let's, let's get it on. Let's do it. Well, it took a little bit of doing, but I'm I'm amazed. We've got an electric trike on one side. We got a fat bike and just another sort of a road bike on this side. I wanted to mix it up a little bit just to demonstrate that not only is it capable in terms of, of strength, of, of hefting 200 pounds worth of bikes, but also just the diversity of bikes. You'll notice that that top arm is kind of slanted so that if you had a bunch of bars that were flat, they would kind of... Um, you know, stack going down. In this case, uh, the fat bike has, has a bar that comes out a little bit more than the drop bars, and we've just kind of worked them together. And then you use these bungee cords on this, this post here just to pull everything towards the car. Down here, we've got uh, sort of a, I guess it's like a rubber, you know, pull piece that you latch on. This was a little bit tricky to get working because you can see how it, it kind of collides right there. You have to kind of tuck it in it's, and finesse it. Um, in this case, it doesn't even go around the fat tire, but you know, we use some bungee cords. And so it's, it's a little bit of a, a DIY setup here <laughs> because we do have such a unique um, set of bikes. And we put the heaviest bike on first 
with the electric bike motor, you'll notice that there is, you know, a little bit of a limited space there for from, from the, the hub to the rims. You need to make sure that you can fit over that first piece, but that's designed so that if you really accelerate, the bikes don't go flying off. I think you could even loop some locks and things around this so you could really secure your stuff. And some of the earlier versions, I don't know if they had this bar here and the bikes would just kind of scissor together and you'd have to worry about disc brakes and they were relying on the tires just kind of cushioning and separating each other. So it's, it's nice now that they have a pole right in the middle and that they have these individual fasteners. Um, and even though it's, you know, it's a little bit finicky at times, I think it works well enough uh, that it all comes together and, and there's that cross beam right here to keep stuff from slamming into your car. Like it's, you know, it's, it's well protected on this side and it's protecting your, so your car on that other side. And even, you know, in this case, we're not hitting the bumper. You know, you can see there's, there's a gap here because we've got this tire um, pretty well fixed on that post. And if you are someone who has a trike or a recumbent or a tandem or a kid's bike or whatever, it's, I could see that working and it actually loads very quickly as long as you can lift your bike up. <laughs> so with these ones, you're kind of, you know, pop a wheelie and using that right brake to, to lock up the rear wheel. And then, you know, one person, depending on the type of bike or two people just lift it up. Once you've got it on that top bar, it slides down nice and easy. Um, I think the story behind this is that there's a team, I, I guess not a team, it was a family, a guy and his wife was kind of sick and they had, you know, several kids. And so they were trying to figure out you know, what can we do that's healthy for mom and, and fun and the whole family can get involved. And cycling was one of those things. She didn't have to overexert herself. But they were like, how do we get all these bikes around? They couldn't put them in the car because it's full of kids. And, you know, they basically invented this. And, and it, it was a brother team. So the first brother, that was him and his wife. And the second brother kind of got involved and helped engineer this thing. So it's got a really cool story. And I think it's been pretty popular with mountain bikers. I swear I've seen something a lot like this, if not this, in Colorado. Uh, and I was really impressed. So um, I think that's, that's, you know, it's pretty good. Jason, do you have any other thoughts to add? No, I mean, I've just, I've used this personally since they came out with the first version. And I was happy with this, with that one. But this one, they've done some really cool things. You can break this down and it stores much easier than the first one, which was really one piece. Oh. But all these bars come off. You do have these uh, rubberized things here to keep the wheels in place, you know, obviously for traditional, but we managed to get one around here for the tricycle. Yeah. I don't know of any other rack that's going to carry a tricycle, let alone a tricycle plus a fat bike plus yeah. a road bike. Yeah. So, you know, easily the six conventional bikes can go on here, especially lightweight bikes. Yeah. And it's very secure. It looks a little haphazard with the yellow bungees. Yeah. But who hasn't used a bungee to secure a bike at the, on the back of it? And, and I love that they're bright yellow. And in fact, if I had this, I might put some extra reflective tape or something just so that you know, cars would see it. Sure. Oh, and you were saying earlier, maybe maybe we already mentioned this, but it does fold down, like this whole thing, if you took the bikes off. Yeah, so if you can see back here, one of these pins, if you pull it off, so if you don't have any bikes on it and you pull this pin, you're able to slant this down to like a 75 degree angle or something. You're mm -hmm. able to slant this down so that I could open my back window and even my back hatch will mm -hmm. open when it's slanted. That's cool. So that's why they did that. And again, that's this version. Um, you know, we said, what, 230 pounds. I think it'll do a lot more than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm 230 plus the bikes and uh, that's all my weight. So wow. it's very secure and when you're riding, they don't shake around. I mean, as long as you get, you know, if you've seen MacGyver and you've used a bungee cord before, you yeah. can make this really secure, highway, no problem. Well, I'm gonna do a walk around once more just sure. to, to give a, a look at this. So all the, the top wheels are kind of straight and then they just angle out. It's not sticking too far out the side of the car. I think this would actually be fairly aerodynamic. I mean, in this case, they're a little higher, a lot of cases, the bike sticking out sideways. You can see this. Um, one of the other pieces to be aware of or just conscious of, you'll see that his exhaust pipe's right there and we've got enough space, but depending on your car, that's where that six inch riser might be handy again because you don't want that hot exhaust melting and then you know exploding your, your tire. And that's the case with most hanging racks and a lot of hitch racks and stuff too. So take that look from the other side. I think that's it. That's the totem pole tp6 um, feel free to chime in if you've had one of those older versions jason was talking about or you have some suggestions on how to mount things i think it's a pretty cool product and at you know 400 bucks it's not too bad i'll have the full write-up back at electricbikereview.com have fun ride safe